गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट टूडे वी विल डू मैथ्स ऑफ क्लास फिफ्थ वी विल सॉल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर वन एंड टू ऑफ एक्सरसाइज फोर पॉइंट टू डियर स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न अबाउट फ्रैक्शन रिवाइजिंग दैट वी विल डू द नेक्स्ट एक्सरसाइज हेयर इन दिस पिक्चर हाफ ऑफ द सर्कल इज कलरफुल सो इट्स फ्रैक्शन फॉर्म विल बी वन बाय टू एंड इन वर्ड इट कैन बी रिटर्न एज हाफ In this figure, there are four equal parts, and one of the equal parts is colorful. So its fraction form will be one by four, and in words it can be written as one fourth. In this figure, out of eight equal parts, one of the parts is colorful. So its fraction form will be one by eight, and in words it can be written as one eight. In this figure, out of ten equal parts, one part is colorful, so its fraction form will be one by ten, and in words it can be written as one tenth. Now, on its basis, we will do the next exercise. Students, let's do question number one of exercise four point two. Match the following. In part A, out of two equal parts, one is colorful. so its fraction form will be 1 by 2 so let's match these two in words it can be written as half so let's match 1 by 2 with half in part b out of four equal parts one part is colorful so its fraction form will be 1 by 4 let's match these two and in words it can be written as 1/4 so let's match these two now in part c out of six equal stars one is colorful so its fraction form will be 1 by 6 and in words it can be written as 1/6 in part d out of eight equal hearts one is colorful so its fraction form will be 1 by 8 and in words it can be written as 1/8 So let's match these two. In part E, out of three equal parts, one is colorful, so its fraction form is one by three, and in words it can be written as one third. Let's match these two. Now in part F, out of three equal parts, two parts are colorful, so its fraction form will be yes, two by three. and in words it can be written as 2/3 so let's match these two kids let's do question number 2 of exercise 4.2 match the following part a is 1 by 10 in words it can be written as 1/10 so let's match these two now part b is 1 by 2 it can be written as half Part C is one by four. In words, it can be written as one fourth. Part D is one by eight. In words, it can be written as one eighth. So let's match part D with part six. Now in part E, one by six, it can be written as one sixth. So let's match these two. Part F. One by three, it can be written as one third. So let's match part F with part three. Dear students, now we will do the next question for pass. Dear students, here is a multiple choice question. Which is correct answer for one fifth? There are four options. We will tick mark the correct option in part A out of five equal parts. Two are colorful, so its fraction form is two by five. In part B, out of five equal parts, one is colorful. Its fraction form is one by five. In part C, out of five equal circles, three are colorful, so its fraction form is three by five. Now in part D, out of five equal triangles, four are colorful, so its fraction form is four by five. So One fifth can be represented as one by five. So, option B is the correct answer. So, 
Let's tick mark this. Now, dear students, what you have to do is solve question number 1 and 2 of exercise 4.2 in your notebooks. Thank you so much.